Hey, howdy everybody. This is Rod from Prialogic. Uh, this is a install video for EasyRTC, but dedicated to those developers who've already got Node.js installed and are using the popular GET code, uh, source code management system. So the cool thing about doing a GET install is that it is actually fairly multi-platform. So I'm going to do one set of instructions. I've kind of got the screen split off into two here. On the left is a Ubuntu. On the right is a Windows. Um, but it should work the same whether or not it's a Mac or any of the other Linux variants. Uh, with a few smaller you know, command differences, but you should know those yourself. Uh, so I'm just going to do it side by side. The very first thing I'm going to do is just make sure that both Node and Git are both installed. So I'm just going to do a Node-V and npm-v, just make sure the packet manager is in there. Uh, sorry, npm-v, yep, and a get. Uh, okay, those are all there, and I'll do it on the right-hand side as well. And a get. Okay, fantastic. We've got all the software we need on both sides. CLS. Clear. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder for uh, storing my EasyRTC node. And I kind of like to make a nodes folder on Ubuntu. I like to pop it into the off the var. So I'm just going to make a uh, do a sudo mkdir slash var slash nodes. And on Windows, I'm just going to make it off my own user folder just to keep it easy. Um, md nodes. And then I'll just cd into each one of those directories. Now that we're in there, this is the cool part where we're going to do our first major command. There's actually only two you really need to know about. The first we're going to do is we're going to do a get and a clone. Uh, our git clone. And we're, actually, before we do that, why don't I show you back to our GitHub page. On our GitHub page, you notice how there's this URL here in the get read only section? And you can actually copy this full URL, and we're going to use this within our command. And uh, this is our URL to our read-only get. And on each one of these uh, sides, I'm just going to type in. On the uh, Ubuntu side, I'm going to do a sudo space get uh, space clone, and then the URL, and then press enter. And that's going to grab it from that side. And I'm going to do the same thing here uh, without the sudo get clone and then paste in that URL and should grab it from uh, for our Windows side as well. After we've got it, uh, we can just do a directory listing and you know so actually create a directory called EasyRTC for us. I'll just cd into each of those directories. And then I will do our next command. This is going to download all the required node modules. And the way it works is it actually takes a look at our package.json file and um, figures out, oh, okay, this EasyRTC needs the, um, you know, the following packages. Currently it is um, um, just a web um, a web framework and a socket framework that we need. So we're just going to do a sudo no packet manager space install, and I will do the same on the web on the Windows side. npm space install, and that should be it. Where this is all the steps that are required in order to get. EasyRTC actually physically installed onto your computer. The next steps you might want to do is take a peek at the configuration file. You can do a, uh, it's in here as uh, config.js. Up here, one of the top lines you may want to change right off the bat is which port you're going to be listening in on. Um, I'm just going to keep it off, keep it there as 8080. And in order to run it, I'm just going to do it manually on each side of these. Uh, it's going to be node uh, server.js node server.js and we're up and running. Uh, just to prove it, uh, I'll do the local host version first. This one's going to be on my Windows box. And there I am. Uh, when I do the 
uh, the Ubuntu one next, and I've got that over on this domain here. And there I am on that one. And uh, there you go. Hopefully that should make it a little bit easier for installing EasyRTC.